Hi everyone, I'm coming on today to share a happy mail that I received from my sweet, sweet friend, Miss Melinda Davis. Um, Melinda, um, and during one of her lives, we were talking about um, her placemats and stuff, and she offered to send me some, but she also sent me something else, and you guys are going to be overwhelmed and excited to see. So, I did open it, it was secure, secure, and I always struggle um, detaching the side, so I didn't want to have you hear me struggle, but I didn't peek inside. And the first thing I see is um, this little package here, and it looks like there's a note. And it says, uh, place mats and paper bags to good use. And there is the surprise. It's a Christmas gnome journal. It's just the one that she used or was making for her journal series. And guys, you have to, have to try it. Um, uh, I'm gonna give it a great home. I got a nice little space up there. Uh, thank you. Anytime, Melinda, anytime. Melissa, and Melinda, anytime. And then Melissa and I each had two journals, so we sent you and Rhonda. I need to go check out Rhonda's. <laughs> Rhonda's walkthrough of the Blue Bird Journal. Oh, yeah, she loved it so much. She is too funny. So she did send me some fastener dots. Thank you, my love, because um, in my craft space tour, which I haven't released yet because I got pieced it all together, um, I did find mine. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I definitely can put those to good use. And then she sent me some coin envelopes. And these I usually end up making, but thank you because since I have to make them, I don't make them that often, but these are much, much appreciated and will be used. And you'll see the area that I will put it in um, once we're done and I show you my craft room tour. So here are the placemats and the bags. Now she did release a video um, yesterday with the measurements on the bag that she used which is this one mine's was like really long and um i'm gonna try it again with this size and then you know once you get the conception of the the process down and the construction together you can pretty much make them with any size i just had i was so stuck in following her tutorial to the letter that it, i struggled but I made it work and thank you thank you thank you for the placemats you know I went into my Barnes and Noble cafe and I was like do you guys have any placemats left but theirs were like really small uh, for the like those carry trays um, I was like no nah, that's not gonna work because I was gonna steal one and try but thank you for this I will definitely put these to use and then the beautiful 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 journal look at her and yes it's a her and i have to tell you oh this box smells heavenly heavenly i love that fragrance let me just move this off to the side because we're going to open up her together now this was a digital kit that she purchased on i believe it was etsy and i think i wrote down the name because i had asked her about it because it is absolutely beautiful. And let me reach over and get mine. This was the one that I did following her tutorial. And look guys, to the letter, almost. Obviously, you know, we work with what we have, but I mean, the measurements were down packed. Like, look at that guys. So definitely worth a shot, worth a try. Um. And tag her if you decide to to use the tutorial. Um, she'll pop over and say hi and take a look. So she has this beautiful closure in red and white. This is a Christmas gnome um, themed paper. So love the white and the red. Lots of room to grow. And then this is her folio on the top. It's like a folio envelope. And um, I believe either early this week or maybe late last week, she released a video on how she does a miniature, guys. You have to go check it out. I don't know why we're not 
thinking outside the box like that. So thank you, Melinda, for sharing that because it's going to be a game changer for me. So she does hers with a Velcro. And she does all this zigzag stitching, which just like, I just love the details. And in here, on that video, she covers how she gets this size, how she gets even a smaller size. I mean, she covers all the sizes. Now, I didn't have any kind of paper like this. So to me, I thought this was like out of a tear off memo pad. Um, but I believe it's a digital. And then how she gets that same image on a heart. And I think this is so cute, the little feet. So you can tell it's that one and that one. And then she adds that. And it just adds that detail and consistency throughout the whole journal. So you're going to see the same images. And then on the back, there's a pocket. And she always includes guest checks. And she rips off the bottom piece. And you'll see how she uses that later on. I'll show you. But I love the die cuts with the hearts. And this is just beautiful. And um, I do use my journals. Um, right now I'm using a winter theme one. And um, I will use this one. And I have um, my Edith Holden I don't want to use because it's Edith Holden. And I don't have any more Edith Holden images. But I do have the journal Melissa gave me and the journal I made. So um, usually a journal like this will last me about a season. So I think I'm covered with winter, which is the one I'm using now. Melissa's will be my spring, maybe my, um, my, oh, my wizard one. That might be, Melissa's might be my spring and summer. Um, my uh, wizard one might be my fall, and this one will be my winter, because it's Christmas. Um, it'll take me through the winter season there. Might be even my December daily. I can make it the whole, I can make it what I want to make it. So she has this flap. Everything is stitched. And in here she has these small journaling cards. Look at that gnome. I'm so obsessed with gnomes. So pretty. And we have writing lines on the back. And then in here, I got excited in mine and I ended up gluing mine down. But intentionally it was it was supposed to be like that to hold a little tag isn't that sweet super cute tiny attacher and then on the cover she has a large journaling card candy canes handle kringle kringle candy company and we have lines in the back and then she has her pull tabs and that goes in here and then when you open it up, we have one of her altered paper clips. She added us that pretty um, vintage lace. And then here is one of her hidden writing spots. And Melinda loves adding hidden writing spots. And look how cute that image is there of uh, ice skate. And it has cheesecloth back behind it. And it's also a tuck spot. So in here she has cute little ephemera looks like a stamp oh holy night and some gra um, graph paper and that slides in there there we go and then this opens up you can hear my cat meowing and then we have a side pocket here beautiful paper love the stripes with journaling cards and this one says have yourself a merry little Christmas with lines in the back that I can write on and usually when I use a journal like for me this will probably be dates that I want to reference like I'll if something like maybe a birthday whatever uh, some birthdays that are happening some celebrations a wedding anything I will usually reference here and where I can find it in my journal. But that's usually how I how I use like the first couple of cards in a journal. So now we have some tags here where she did beautiful stitching all around and some zigzag. They have lines in the back. So this is a stack pocket. In the back here we have a large journaling card. Old fashioned sleigh rides. Lots of space to ride in the back.
super cute. And then we have the placemat. Look at that. Am I in frame? I brought you down further enough. Um, she makes it into a side tuck. And it has this cute, cute little pamphlet. Little journaling book. Super cute. And then she added this little... Uh, I call them tablets, like little pads. And then her miniatures. Look at this, guys. Look at how cute these are. Same images from the folio over there. Sorry about the ambulance passing by. I hope whoever they're running to take care of is doing okay. With a cute little heart there. And then she also uses the, her miniatures to decorate. So we have two more in this little one. Look at how tiny. And it's the same images. I love it. I love the concept. So, of course, a link to her playlist will be in my description box, guys. So on the back of the placement, she has this large pocket. And in here, she has a large journaling tag that she done, did out of a master board that she put together. She cut apart. Perfect. She included an index card, all inked, ready to be used. And then an envelope. Oh, yep, yeah, this is the one where she, any bits and pieces that she didn't use from the collection, she usually adds them in an envelope so the recipient can use to embellish or maybe they want to add a decoration on a page, maybe break up a page. Sometimes these will be great starting points to a different topic. So lots there to use. I'm just loving this. Oh my goodness. And, you know, I have, I don't want to say I have a favorite color. I, I, I prefer earth tone colors, but I do favor red because I'm, I'm a fire sign. Um, and um, I love reds. But if I had to pick and choose burgundies are my ultimate favorite, but this is in the same family. So we have a cute little pocket with a public library card with the ice skate. Super cute, love that. Over here, another great use. This looks like a flower nesting die, and you can see all the layers there. She used a brad to hold them all together. Love that idea, love that concept. And um, definitely have to try that. She also adds tabs, super cute. Love that. I actually, I, I just love that one. Cute little tag on a belly band that's done in a page flag. Just love that concept. I'm hooked. On the back of that, we have another pocket. In this pocket, she included another one of her uh, masterboard tags. And then this is an envelope that probably came with the kit that she leaves empty. She doesn't always fill everything. She wants the recipient to have space, which I love. Another one of her miniatures with the little pages there. Another pocket. This one says good tidings of comfort and joy with another public library card. And isn't he cute? I love him. Oh, my God. I'm obsessed. Look at that. Isn't that precious? Don't mind Loki. Loki heard a noise outside. He wants to act tough. Love this paper. Look at that. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. Love the red. Look at that trim. And it's perfectly laid down. Wow. Sorry about that. Luna started barking and they all lost it. So on this page, we have a pocket, which she added the ribbon to. I love that idea. She also decorated it with the word magic right behind some cheesecloth. And then more ephemera. This one says warmest wishes. And I think that color contrast is beautiful there. On this page, this is a flip out. But on the page itself, she added another one of those beautiful, beautiful little clusters with the brad. The belly band made from a page flag. And then she has Frosty the Snowman sitting in there on a tag. Super cute. And I love how these ribbons all come out. 
And then when you open that up, we have another one of these um, pads with the same images. Super, super cute. Love that, and I love this. Back here, this was one of her signatures that I didn't do. This is a, a heart nesting die, and she stacked them all in there, created a pocket. On the bottom here, she added the word cookies behind some cheesecloth with a um, stitched heart, which is probably the last one that goes there. But each one of these, you can write on. And I think that is super, super cute. Great idea. Never thought of using that. And I think it just looks super sweet on the page. She also decorated again with one of her miniature um, decorations up here. And I think that was a perfect balance. Look how pretty that layout looks. So more lace on this page on the digital kit. Here it looks like she created her own stack pocket which she stitched using the collection. She embellished it with Mary and Bright. Nice little ticket there on some cheesecloth. And then in the back pocket, we have a large tag. Love that ribbon. That's the big pocket in the back. And it's three pockets. Then she also included the ephemera baby. It's cold outside. Cute little journaling card there. Another one that says, let this season fill your heart with joy. Super cute. And then two mini tags here. Happy holidays. Super adorable. Love the way that looks there. Look how pretty that looks. Some red lace on the stripe di uh, digi kit. Super cute. Oh my goodness. And then she printed out. Um, this is actually her sister's um, freebie that she offers. She created these um, line pages with the hearts. And then she added the tabs on the top. I love that idea. I think it just adds just enough of an interest to, you know, just touch it and feel it. I just love it. Another one of her signatures, she has this hidden spot that she creates into a pocket. And she has pages here. Super cute. And everything is stitched. So this... I think I have this die cut, this uh, die set. And then another ticket on some cheesecloth. And this is just a great place to just add quick little thoughts, notes. And then tucked behind there is this pretty tag. And she decorated the page with another one of her miniatures. And she does these in different sizes if you haven't noticed. So you have the smaller one and then you have the bigger one. Cute little pull tab there. Back here, she has a belly band, which she sewed into the page. And this page feels like resume paper, parchment paper, not parchment. I think it's like lint. Yeah, I think it's resume paper. Very pretty. Um, and then one of her fabric clusters. And then this is another one of her uh, signatures. She always adds one of these. This is a uh, tabbed index cards that she sews down the side. She always leaves these blank. And then another set on this side. And how she construct this is also part of the, the series. And then the pieces that she pulled off the guest check, guest check. She creates a pocket here. And in here, she uses her off-cut pieces to create more writing spots. And I think that's absolutely super smart and I love the way she rounded off the edges because it does make it easier to go in and out of pockets so we have another one here beautiful so I didn't do that more from the kit this is just so pretty love the images more lace back here she put another pocket this one has a large library card I think this says January 25th 1909 with another tag super cute more of her printed uh, pages with the tabs more of the collection with some lace super super pretty more of the collection with lace back here we have another pocket this one says believe with a postcard, a Christmas postcard. 
And then here we have some ledger paper that you create into a pocket. Has a nice tab and it's all stitched. And another one of these, love the idea, nesting um, tag dies. She cuts them all out, adds a brat, very pretty, love that heart brat. Everything is inked and all of these tags in the back you can write on. And I think that's absolutely a nice little hidden space for you to be able to write. Super cute. And look how, how adorable that looks there. Love the new. Merry Christmas. More lace. This collection is beautiful. Look at that. Look how pretty with the lace. Uh, she did a book page stack pocket here. So we have one, two, three pockets. Here she put with tidings, good tidings of comfort and joy on some cheesecloth. In the back pocket, we have another journaling card. In the next pocket, we have another piece of the uh, digital kit, the ephemera, candy canes, and hot cocoa shop. And then in the front pocket, we have these cute little journaling tags. And this kind of looks like it came from her master board. Super cute. Now we have some green color paper, and this matches perfectly with the colors in the kit. Here we have a bottom um, side pocket, and then we have another piece of the ephemera, nice little postcard, super cute. And then here, paper clip to the top of the page. What is this paper? Feels different. She has, oh, look how cute. One of these little fun folds envelopes that I can write something in there that I don't want no one to know. Let me see if I remember how to do this. I think this one goes in here. Does it? Does it? Does it? Dolly, can you do it? Yep. There we go. And that's clipped right up here. Super cute. Right next to the tab. I really have to cut my nails down. I feel like I'm so fidgety. And it's super cold. I'm wearing my sweater. On the other side, we have another corner pocket with some more postcards. Look at how cute these are. I think I will fussy cut all the gnomes out. Another one of her mini embellishments here. Her miniature embellishments. They look super adorable. Some graph paper. And she added tabs with some lines in the back. Look at how pretty. And then we have lace. And we're in the center. And she added these four side pockets with some cute little tags. This is absolutely beautiful, Melissa, Melinda. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. On this side. Oh my God. You know, I know why some people have, they hesitate writing in a journal as beautiful as these, but. I think that's the honor of it is that now that I wrote in it, it's mine and it will forever be mine. In the center here, she has these cute little charms. One is a stocking and then the other one is a snowflake. Super adorable. So we're in the middle, guys, and this is a one signature. It's a one signature, but it's a big signature. More beautiful paper. The other side of the graph and line paper. On here we have a corner tuck with some more journaling cards. Another one of her miniatures. Beautiful. I'm gonna figure out what that paper is. And then um, one of her tabs. Here, corner pocket again. This one says Christmas with um, the cheesecloth. Two more cards, two. Lots of writing space. That's what I love about this. And then up here she has, ooh, let's take it off this way, a mini little envelope. Look how cute that is. And inside are some cute little pieces of ephemera. And I actually love having these in my journals because if I'm writing here and I'm writing about something, I might want to add that there to break it up and then start something else. So these are cute little things that you can add your own personal touches to in your journal so thank you for that and this gets clipped right up here 
some more of that green lined paper with the tabs. Another one of her uh, stack pockets made out of book page. This one says Merry Christmas. In the back we have a large journaling card. Then we have this cute little index card that's embellished. Very pretty. Then we have this piece of ephemera, a little journaling card, and two more tags. Super cute. And then of course everything is stitched. Some more lace. Vicky's so cute. Writing space, some more lace. Look at that ice skate. Here's the other side of that um, ledger paper that she made it to a pocket and sewed. Another one of these nesting tags. Just a different style. I like the way she had it like that. A little tab there. And then on this side we have another envelope. This is a coin style envelope. And in here, she has this cute little mason jar with a gnome and what looks like a Christmas tree cookie. I think that is so adorable. So we're gonna pin that there, right where it was. Another one of the pockets. This one's a postcard. This one says besties. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, I'm running out of space. Ooh, let's bring that light down. This one says besties. Some more of the kit. Some more lace. Some more of her printables. Here we have another pocket. Another large public library card. Another tag. Love it. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Look at how pretty. This time, the belly band, we're going from top to bottom with her fabric cluster and lace. And then here is her paper bag envelope. Super pretty, all stitched. And then in here, she added some scrap pieces of paper. And then, of course, if I have um, keepsakes, memorabilia, maybe movie tickets that I want to journal about, I can add that in there. Cute little pocket. Some more of that resume paper. Another one of her miniatures. Another one of her hidden writing spots with the paper inside. Super cute. And then, of course, she made that into a pocket. And we have a large tag there. Some more of the printables with the tabs. Some more of the kit with lace. And then here we have another one of her stacked um, pockets that she created. And in the back pocket, we have a tag. That's so sweet. I love the vintage feel. And we have a little journaling card there. I think he's so adorable. A little journaling card there. Another tag here. And another tag that she made on her master board, and she sewed it. And then here is another ticket, says Merry Christmas to all, on um, some cheesecloth. More candy cane paper. Another one of her stacked hearts. This one says hot cocoa with a little heart. Look how cute that looks. Doesn't that look the sweetest? Look at that. They are just beautiful. And they sit nicely right in there. Another one of her miniatures. And then we have a tag here held on a banner style belly band some more of her clustered flowers and this time she has a gold um, gold green um, star and then another one of her tabs super cute love it another pocket this one says gnomes and there he is I think he's so adorable you know I have to do a, a walkthrough. Oh, where? See, my nails are no good. I have to do a walkthrough of my gnomes collection. They're slowly growing, growing, growing. Santa Claus, Flying Reindeer Company. Some more red lace, some more cream lace. Another pocket here. She decorated the pocket with um, a little small pocket and a public library cart. 
And this one, she also decorated with one of her miniatures and a tab. And of course, it's all sewn. Her masterboard tags. And then this, I believe, came with the kit. This is absolutely adorable. It looks like it has, um, I don't know if that's vellum. It felt like vellum. Oh, okay. This is that um, rewritable um, paper. You just got to make sure that it's like a... Um, that it's not a permanent marker, but it's like a place where you can rewrite. And I thought that was super sweet. Look how pretty that is there, peeping out the window. But I thought that was amazing. And I just love the feel that it gives it. And that has a nice little pull tab there. On the back here, we have another banner tie, a banner style belly band. Another one of those heart um, flower nesting die with the brad pull tab another belt uh, another tag super cute and then the back half we're at the end this is the placemat and in here of course one of her masterboard tags the index card and then another envelope and in here she also included more of the ephemera that she did not use that came with the kit. Super cute. And then of course she decorated it with another smaller pocket and another library card. This is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Here we are. One of her um, writing tabs with her miniature in that pocket. And she decorated with an even smaller miniature there. And then here we have another booklet. Super cute. Everything is inked. All the details. This one says Merry Christmas. This is good to keep like your shopping list. And then another one of uh, her altered paper clips. And then this one has a ticket with cheesecloth decorated. And it says Nutcracker. It's hitting writing spot. And then this is also a tuck. So in here we have some graph paper and some more of the ephemera. And that slides right in there. And this holds it together. And then you open it up just like the front. And then we have our two large uh, journaling tags. Super cute, all stitched. The large journaling card. I think that is beautiful beautiful that fits nice and snug right in there and then the side pocket here that has a journaling card and a smaller one. Oh my god melinda thank you so so much i absolutely love 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 him thank you so much for thinking of me and I'm honored. It was a pleasure doing the tutorial. Um, I always like to um, create with different materials, and it was just a joy. Look at look at this beauty to be able to do this folio journal. Absolutely gorgeous. And thank you for the introduction to the five hole pamphlet stitch. I've seen it. I was always afraid to try it. Just seems very complicated, but. Um, once doing it, I absolutely love, love, love it. And look how perfect her stitching is. My per Mine didn't come out that perfect. But it was my first time. So, again, guys, um, in my description box, a link to Melinda's playlist for the folio tutorial will be there. And, of course, if you don't know who she is, connect with her. Uh, she does lives. She does. Um, she's starting to do more and more tutorials, different things that she absolutely loves to do in her journals. And if you're ever interested in purchasing one of these yourself, reach out to her. Um, I'm pretty sure she um, um, can discuss details with you um, and timelines. And of course, I didn't cover that the back also has a large journaling card so absolutely gorgeous 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 thank you so so much melinda for the placements for the bags for showing me some love and for gifting me this beautiful beautiful journal 
as always, stay healthy, stay blessed, and I'll see you real soon. Bye now.